My name is Charumira Keith. I'm the incoming councillor for Ward 8 in Arare East. Uh, what I really expect uh, in Ward 8 is firstly to ensure that the voice of the people is heard by means of ensuring that we have engagements with the residents of that particular ward. Uh, when I say we have to we have engagement meetings with the ward, people are the ones who are sending me to represent them to this local authority, to Harare municipality. So it means to say I have to involve them in everything that we will be actually doing. There is a lot that the people are desiring within the ward in which they are supposed to fit in through our ward meetings if I get in as a councillor. Then the other issue is about infrastructure development. I, if you see the dilapidation of roads, infrastructure, water infrastructure and water itself, if you see the issue to do with the environment, you know, the environment is no longer favorable in Harare and even in my world. You see the issue of wetlands, you know, people are continuously abusing wetlands, so we need to ensure that wetlands are preserved for the health of our people and ensuring that the underground water is clean and safe. The other issue is to do with the policy um, we need to look into policy issues. One, we have policies that are actually militating against the people of Zimbabwe, militating against the people of Harare. Then we have got policies that are outdated, which were some crafted in 19 chapters, uh, in 18 chapters, I mean, so to say. Then, if you look at these such kind of issues, it means to say the, the policies are supposed to be aligned, to be re-looked into in terms of the environment that we are currently, the population in Harare and so forth. The issues to do with the decentralization is another issue. Devolution of both services and resources is key amongst the people. The issues to do with accountability is something that is actually key as we enter into this local authority, Harare municipality. And as well as the issues to do with the water regulation. If you look, the issue of water in Harare is still a crisis. The issue of chemicals is still an expense. So we have a plan as councillors. I have a plan as a councillor to see that Harare limited its expenses through how if, and if we, we, we produce biogas, eh, you can find out we'll be saving electricity that is, is being used at water plant. If we deal with the issues of pollution, to ensure that the polluters are actually dealt with it in another way, we will see that the issue of putting more expenses in the issues to do with the water will be something. So the issues of budget on its own, the budget of the city of Harare, we must ensure that the budget is in favor of the people's needs and the agent issues that are actually arising among our communities. There are a lot to do so as we, to, to, to ensure that Harare becomes a sunshine city again, so that become, Harare uh, becomes a world class, attain world class city status by the year 2025 as per the vision. We should ensure that the Char Harare Service Charter is highly observed and ensure that we develop our community and bring Harare to its sun status at large. Uh, in this case, I cannot do it alone, but it is a matter of putting our minds, our energies together and ensure that we research and ensure that we, 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 we learn other best practices from other countries around us so as to improve and bring Harare to its greatest uh, sunshine city status as before. Uh, which party are you carrying when going to the elections? Myself, I'm representing the MDC Alliance, which is... Ascati, Zimbabwe, Southern Dunons, Moses, Croatia, Dunogara, Headcliff, Ward 42, Harare Municipality. I can nominate my name, Caribbean Headcliff, it's in the cancer. Shinishandakan 
and when the country can perform any more career, we can embrace it now. So soon as we know the words of school, we are going to forget and it's not more career as more career than now. As no good, I couldn't see it. I could see it. I could find it. So I got to show you something. The show is different. No, that is a you know the word based road rehabilitation program. Ne job creation. Ne my use. My use. I want to pass up town chairs. My use. I don't want to pass up what my one car. Mwad muda ukatiriwa road, muda uchekwa uskwa, muda kana kuvakwa kana mikuwa kwa chayo, muda kuvakwa. Izu zose zunewa itufa, kuna kansela, anuziwa. Uyeze, mugaro wedu wame etkilifu. Tinuwa na mfura kamwechete pa shondu. Kamwechete pa shondu, wajuna, tituwa na 24 hours. Toko na wana mfura for about 7 to 8 hours. Saka icho uzo, chishuro chekuti, pampapangu chayapu nakata zupe ziranda chere sa bogo. The good regime is not going to be able to cheer them for me at least. When I was nominated, I was able to make papers and the party the people's end of coalition. Yeah, yeah. If I was to make papers, I was going to never say yes. No, I'm going to teach them the final result. You know, for the nomination court, the fact that we need to teach them to know that we should be in the union to get a base. So we just say we're going to teach them to be. Chita ungi tunda kuta kuta gabas. Asi pasi sinu. Taka kushia nda kushinu la tizawa bereki. Nne nne amanesha mwari kuti. Huo ni kanzi la wenyu muzi mukweisha. Acha zinga chukupa hizi 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 tinotend. My name is Rati Domasenda, and I'm running for council Ward Seven. Ward Seven ranges from Gun Hill, Stradhaven, Belgravia. Tongo Garbarax, Morris Depot, Avondale, Avondale West. So basically, what have driven you as a as a woman to come and drop your CVs for the nomination of uh, of being a councillor? Um, I've always wanted to see a change in our country, and as um, we're staying with our neighbours and all, would actually discuss for a change and advocate for a change, but. Um, if you're going to be discussing these things as neighbors and all, there's no change that is going to be affected. So I decided to join in the race and while in the meetings and all, we can actually contribute and make the changes in there. I've been um, walking around like uh, the roads, doing neighborhood door-to-door uh, -door, uh, campaigns, the swimming pools and all, they're all in that disarray. So I've decided to run for council and to make an improvement in whatever I do not like and whatever is upside down. I want to make a revamp of the Ward 7, because Ward 7 what? And how has been the process of the nomination today? Um, running uh, as uh, a candidate under PRC was a lot easier as compared to what uh, the neighbors were suggesting as an independent. I've seen the independent candidates having a lot of uh, time on task going through everything, but uh, with the party, PRC, and having people leading us, it's way easier. And as a family, it's much, much easier to run as a party. Thanks a lot. My name is Elizabeth Majongwe. I'm standing in for what, 18... Uh, Harare North um, constituents, uh, which runs from uh, Helensville, uh, Borodell, Borodell Primary School, St. John's, um, going over to um, Chishawasha service station, and then Torget, and then we come back to Wogat Hill. Um, as, my, as a woman, I was inspired by um, Joyce Taylor from Juru uh, because of her braveness, uh, because of her outstanding uh, work for the country. She, I can simply say she has seen and done it all, and I just want uh, to follow suit. Um, what inspired me more is because of the uh, poor way, uh, I, I can simply say the different way of living in Borodell. There are people who are very, very poor and people who are very, very rich. So I just want a middle to, to, to develop a middle um, uh, type of uh, families 
uh, within the community. Thank you. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.